NLE X6 can look like a really daunting stage for quite a few of you. But the fact that it's a huge map, there's lots of enemies coming in, looks like there's many lanes to pay attention to as well. But if you notice the way that the enemies move, you'll see that there's a bit of a congregation point, an area where all the enemies meet at the same spot. So if you can take advantage of this choke point, you can basically kill all of them in one go at that area. So I've got an easy strategy for you guys to take, and the challenge condition states that all enemies have increased attack. Now, this is the squad that we're going to be using. Bring along a Chen at skill 3 M3. If you don't have that, please borrow from a friend. And if you don't have a friend with that, you can come to my server to add someone. Next up, take a AoE guard or a Centurion basically. So Popica is the lowest in rarity for that. You got a Blaze, you got an Estelle, you got a Spectre. You can use that to re you can use one of them to replace Popica. And then if you want to as well, you can also use a range guard in place of Popuka. So people like Midnight, Torn, Silver Ash, Aireen will work just fine to replace uh, this particular unit. As long as there's a physical damage dealer and it's a two block dealer, I'm okay that you bring them into the stage. Then next up, you want a healing defender. My healing defender is E2. You do not need an E2 healing defender. You can use it at E1. So bring someone who always heal your allies being people like Blemishine, Merl, and Saria. So Gumi is the lowest in rarity I can think of. Um, I don't recommend those where you have to click on their skill and do some healing, because that might cause some problems in terms of how you pay attention to the stage. So I'd rather you take someone with an auto recovery skill so that you don't have to pay attention. And then afterwards, you bring along another defender. This other defender, I'm not particular about the defender that you bring. As long as this defender can be healed by a medic, then it's good to go, you can take them into the stage. So Beagle is the lowest rarity that I can put forth uh, or recommend. And then after, bring two fast redeploys. Now, Yato is a fast redeploy if you didn't know, because it states that redeployment time minus 30 seconds, you'll need her to be level 30 in order to have that little talent. Um, if you want to bring more stable fast redeploys, like your Project Raid, your Phantom or Waifu, you can take them into the stage. Gravel should be built in your account, but not up to E2. As long as you have an E1 and you've got a decent skill to rank, then it's good to go uh, functional for this stage. Alright, and then last of all is bring a multi-target medic. So this multi-target medic can be anyone else as well, like a Thelopsis, a Breeze, or a Nightingale. Nightingale will be very helpful for this stage because you're fighting against quite a bit of enemy casters. So by giving extra rest to your uh, allies, then Nightingale will be very helpful here. Now there are lots of free slots that you see behind, if you need to use them, please feel free to do so. Uh, if you have stronger units like a Silver Ash, a Serta, an Aya, a Kelsit, whichever that you can think of, uh, yeah, you can take them in the stage. And if you need a Vanguard, please bring them as well. Alright, let's begin. NLEX6 Performance Art We begin the stage by placing a Chen over here, facing downwards. Then you follow up by placing your melee damage dealer right over here, facing downwards, so that you'll help two lanes. Next up, you'll place a defender right over here. Doesn't matter the direction for this one, because however there is, we're going to shine the light behind this defender by placing a multi-target medic over here, facing downwards. And then we will put a healing defender. So the healing defender will be over here, facing to the left. If you need to put a vanguard, please place your vanguard over here and then just let them do the charging that you want. Now, you're gonna see a swordsman appear together with like a little candle knight enemy. When that happens, activate Chen skill. The moment you have enough DP, Please use your DP to activate this tower because right now Gumi and Perfumer have their backs facing the darkness. Now let's bait the caster's attack. So what you'll do is that you'll place a fast redeploy over here before the caster gets into the light. And that way, you notice the range of the attack. It's not going to hurt anybody simply because of placing the fast redeploy. So this is a really good tactic to use against this stage. Once... Chen kills this caster, you can stop the skill. So let's do the same thing again. Let's beat this particular caster's attack. So we'll place Yato over here. And I'm gonna see, they'll charge it up, and then you can remove Yato. Right? Simple as that. Oh, 
I'm gonna raise Beagle's defense so that she can tolerate the hit of this incoming uh like swordsman. I'm gonna get perfumer skill up as well. It's gonna be a huge hit if you see that. Ooh. Let's beat the attack. Right, sweet stuff. I'm gonna activate Popoka's skill as well so that she quickly kills this caster over here. And I'm gonna beat the second attack of the caster. So let's place Yato down. And the beat will happen again. Now, notice that the red color enemies are incoming. So once you see a bunch of these enemies heading into the like the range of Chen's skill, you can feel free to use Chen's skill kind of like right about now. Now, remove Beagle and remove Papuka. You really don't need them anymore. So just push all the enemies in, let them walk into Chen's skill range. Alright, Chen is doing beautifully. Now, if you struggle at any point, you kind of realize that, hmm, not everyone is dying right now. What you can do is that you can use your fast redeploys and just hold back whichever enemy that is still straying behind. So you can even use Yato to kind of like pull this caster back and then let Chen do her own work where she tries to uh, take out the caster. Uh, take out the caster, take out the... What do you call that? I, I am confused what I just said, but it's okay. If you need to put more bodies, feel free to do so. So I'm going to place Beagle over here to hold the enemy back. So if you feel very worried because I'm using the lowest number of people that I can think of to bring into stage, you'll be using much more. You'll be using a free squad, a, a full squad, sorry. So if you need, just take more bodies so that you can save yourself the trouble of like this switcher rule of units. All right. Hopefully it's simple enough for you guys to follow. NL EX6 done and dusted. I shall see you guys in NL EX7. All right. Bye to all of you.